What is up everyone, Oscar here with a new video. Before I get into it though, I'd like to remind you all to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this video, and turn on post notifications so that way you know when I drop a new video. So let's get into it. Um, so today, Real Madrid uh, took on Huesca in La Liga, and Real Madrid was able to um, beat Huesca 4-1 to in a in a match where uh, they they needed a bounce back from that draw, um, they ha here's the thing, Real Madrid do is doing well in La Liga aside from the the loss to Cadiz one to zero, but I'm not, in my opinion they're fine in La Liga. My concern is Champions League, and I'll you know I'll talk about that more you know as we you know go through this video, go through the through the analysis and the the highlights that that I picked up in today's game. Um, it was a 9 a.m. match, and I'm, like, I, honestly, I am not an, an early bird anymore. Um, I guess I should get back into that. Um, I, I struggled getting up this morning, um, to watch this game. So, alright, so, at first, you know, the first, for, actually, no, the first 40 minutes, I actually thought, because Wesca is, a, we're able to, to, is able to draw with, like, the, the top, teams in La Liga, and, you know, that, that kind of, you know, came to a concern with me, especially with the current struggles, um, with the current struggles that Real Madrid is facing, you know, coming off of, um, a draw against, uh, uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach, um, that was just, you know, just a disappointing result, in, in my opinion, um, so you know when I heard that Wesca was able to you know draw with with the big with the big boys with the with the top teams in in La Liga, you know I was like oh man you know we're probably gonna they're probably gonna keep us at a scoreless draw, but especially and here's the thing Eden Hazard started this game in my opinion, Eden Hazard did not deserve to start at the you know he's coming off of an injury he hasn't been productive since joining Real Madrid, and Zinedine Zidane has him as a starter, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, hey, he's not going to produce, why, at least put him, out. and my thought process was, put him in the last maybe 30, 20, 30 minutes of the game, that was my, that was my thought process, put him in the last 20, 30 minutes of the game, but he proved me wrong today, he played 60 minutes, and played phenomenally scored have scored his first goal since October 5th 2019 imagine that um more than a year for Real Madrid and not being able to score goals I get it he was not able to stay healthy um in 2019 2020 season and here's the thing he came on in the Champions League matchup on Tuesday and he showed flashes. I was like, but he sh he's shown flashes before, and he he's been a, a very uh, he's been disappointing. And today he showed flashes, and and in the opportunity that he's had, was able to make make opportunities happen. Made a phenomenal goal and a very impressive. I liked it. So if Eden Hazard can return to the his form of old when he was with Chelsea. And with this, and from what I understand, I need to look back at his Chelsea highlights. Looking back at it, because I had no idea who he was um, before joining Real Madrid. When Real Madrid made big signings last year, last summer, I kind of expected killing Mbappe or someone, you know, a, a Neymar or you know whoever to, to come to Real Madrid, but not Eden Hazard. That you know, I'd never heard of that name, so I need to look back at his Chelsea highlights. But apparently, he. Um, was um uh, a top top guy at, at Chelsea. You know, only missed eight games due to injury or whatever. Um, and you know we did not we do not have that with him right now. So the the question now is here: Can he produce the same way he produced in the sixty the the fifty five minutes sixty minutes that he played today? Um. Can he produce that throughout the rest of the season? Because if if so, you know, the Real Madrid, you know, as as bad as you know as them, you know, not being able to score goals, 
that will not be a worry anymore. Get Luka Yovi healthy because I think he, he was balling out before he got injured. Federico Valverde, in my opinion, already with four or five goals on the year. Just incredible. You know, he's he's been balling out this year. Karim Benzema is returning, is, is coming back, you know, getting back into, into form with Real Madrid. What is concerning to me is Vinicius Jr., his relationship with Vinicius Jr. Um, it has come out that um, he was not happy with Vinicius Jr. after the Champions League, um, telling... Um, uh, Val, not Valverde, um, what's his name, crap, Mendy, um, not to give Vinicius the ball, you know, it was, uh, it was, you know, a communication, and then, of course, you know, with reason, Vinicius Jr. was not, you know, was just lost, um, today when, when he was substituted, and the main concern that I have, you know, and of course, I'm, I'm going to finish off talking about the goals, um, of course, you know, we get Eden Hazard to finally score, Karim Benzema has two goals today. Um, Valverde with another goal. So that's, yeah, that, that was, those were the four goals. Um, all around solid, solid game. My question is, why did, um, I, even though I understand, you know, the, the, the sports commentator said that, um, man, what is up with me today? Um, with... See, this is why I don't like 9 a.m. games. Uh, <laughs> um, why? Uh, so, Zinedine Zidane made, made a, sub, a questionable substitution. Um, the player, I, I'm blanking on the player right now, but, you know, and he, he's been a solid um, midfielder for, for, for Real Madrid this year, you know, and, you know, when he, when he was substituted out, putting Tony Kroos in, in that position, Tony Kroos was not comfortable at all, you know, kept on getting fouls, you know, allowed the only goal scored by Huesca, even though Militao was, that was Militao's fault, that's another thing, Militao, I don't know what it is about that guy, but, um, he has, you know, not played well, in a Real Madrid shirt, you know, um, that is the one weakness that Real Madrid has when Militao's when Mili out there, if, if it's not, if he plays in Sergio Ramos' position, it's bad, and now we're noticing that if he's in Rafael Varane's position, it's bad, so I don't know what it is with Militao that, you know, Real Madrid's defense, you know, that backfield is horrible, because um, Wesco was able to, you know, um, able to, you know, get to our goalie, even though Courtois, you know, was able to, you know, not allow goals and, until that, that one goal that they scored, you know, and, but whenever Militao's in the game, it's just ridiculous to me that, that, you know, but I, I guess, you know, they wanted Rafael Varane to rest, um, so, you know, that, that's, um, that's, you know, my, my prime analysis, Real Madrid wins it for a one, we Real Madrid has a tough schedule ahead, so you know I don't want to get too ahead of myself saying you know oh my gosh you know because I saw that last week I said that last week I was like okay Real Madrid's able to you know you know beat Barcelona three to one in a, in a great game, um, but then you know they they had that you know stunning result in against Borussia Mönchengladbach in a in a two two tie that ended in a two two tie. Wow. So and and they got Inter Milan um in the Champions League coming up. They have Valencia next next week and then of course they have to match up against Villarreal another, you know. So they got three big matchups, one Champions League matchup and two La Liga matchups. And I'm going to be honest, we're going to probably you lose one of those okay, we're going to lose one, tie one and win one. That's my prediction. I don't know which and if Real Madrid loses against Inter de Milan, then be prepared for them to not be able to to make it in the the round of 16 in the Champions League. That's you know that's what I'm saying, right then and there is that they're not going to make it to the round of 16, um, if they lose to Inter de Milan, um, in the Champions League next week. Alrighty then. So alrighty guys, that is it for my analysis. Again, Real Madrid wins four to one. 
with two goals, uh, Karim Benzema scoring do- uh, a double, scoring double, uh, Eden Hazard returning to shape, um, able to score his first goal in over a year, and of course Federico Valverde, the the team's, you know, balling out player, you know, to um, in the season so far, you know, able to score another goal to his name. So, like I said, like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video, turn on post notifications. Um, unless there's anything noteworthy coming out of Washington, there won't be any Washington content. Um, I know that the trade dead trade deadline is coming up on Tuesday, so um, if there's anything newsworthy on Tuesday, then you know look for a video regarding that. But other than that, it's going to be Real Madrid content throughout the week. And, of course, Washington returns to action um, next week against the Giants. But uh, that is that video won't happen until midway through the week. So, alrighty then, guys. That is it for me. Peace.